From Germany, Ireland, England, and France, immigrants came to East Tennessee. They shared their own special talents, their own way of life, enriching each other and helping to make us who we are. Newcomers are still arriving here. Roland Mark is from Vermont. Today he shares his special talent, tapping the bounty of nature on the Heartland series. The beginning of spring in Vermont finds the land shrouded in deep snow. That's the time of year you can't do much of anything else, so you might as well sugar. When the sap begins to flow, it's time to harvest the gold of the mountains, maple syrup. It's a little known tradition around here, but it was in the green mountains of Vermont that Roland Mark learned the craft from his father. He did it for years. He had about, of these buckets on there, of course there were 10 in those days. He had about 1,500 out at one time. Why do you do this? Oh, well, we need, we like the syrup. We always got a sample of the first run, the first new syrup that we made, hot biscuits and syrup. Oh, we like that. I'd keep some on, on hand all the time if I could. The reason Roland doesn't have much syrup is a matter of simple arithmetic. She said rock maple's what you need, or the sugar maple, and I don't have but three. Roland does tap other maples, like red and white ones. It's more work, but the rewards are still great. That's pretty good there. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, you can make pretty good uh, syrup out of that one. I'm going to pour this in here so we can take it down to the sugar house and get... Oh, that one run pretty good. Whoa. It takes at least 35 gallons of sap to get one gallon of syrup. That's a lot of boiling, too much for the kitchen. So the sugar house is where the sap becomes syrup. You always strain it all? Yeah, every bit of it. Because we don't need to get bugs and things like that in it. You want to help me uh, skim some of this here? Yeah. Just don't get burned, that's the I need to get back out here and get some more wood. Making maple syrup can take all day if there's enough sap. It's a precise skill, even if it may not seem so to an outsider. What are you doing now? Checking to see if it's anywhere near syrup. How do you know? Oh, it's uh, the way it drips off the bottom of this thing. It's still too thin yet, though. It's coming, though. <coughs> it won't be long. Did you use maple syrup as your sugar? No. I use that for dessert. It's a, a luxury, you might say. Grade A is supposed to look just about as yellow as honey. Grade B is a little darker, and grade C is next. What kind do you make? <laughs> I make, written me here? Yeah. This is grade F. <laughs> grade F. <laughs> Roland no, is a modest even... man. What he's making is pure magic. Is it ready? Mighty close, huh? I see that's dripping, that's dripping pretty slow. It's about ready to come off. Looks kind of thin. The syrup is ready to go to the kitchen where Roland's daughter, Patty, will continue to strain and cook it till it's done. At the end of a long day of making maple syrup, it's time to taste the fruits of our labor. If you don't like it, you can always just leave it. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. Nothing like it. Whoever don't like maple syrup must be a little bit crazy, don't you, man? <laughs>